after today, I won't have to wear a mask inside the RV anymore. We are applying an off-gassing sealer today. Um, it's non-toxic, it's called Safe Coat Safe Seal. We went through all the hassle of sanding the RV from top to bottom and then went through and washed every surface with water um, as you probably saw in our previous videos. Um, and the reason we did that is because you have to make sure that the surface is prepared correctly in order for this product to work. We're not endorsed at all by this company or affiliated with them at all, by the way. We were just looking for a sealer to stop toxic off-gassing, uh, specifically formaldehyde, uh, which is a big problem for RVs. Right now, when you, you know, when you open a door of an RV and you get that smell, that is the chemicals and the formaldehyde that they use in the wood. We think it's worth it because we want to live in a healthy environment and if we're in here, you know, living in this um, for the next year and a half or possibly even longer, then um, we want to make sure that the air that we're breathing and all that kind of stuff is safe for us and we won't get sick later on. so excited because today we are finally going to be putting paint on the wall. Um, we have waited for this day for what seems like an eternity, but um, anyway, so we are so excited to get started. Uh, we've done the safe seal last night and the day before that, so we're completely finished with that. We got um, the taping all done this morning, so we have all the prep work done, yep. so we can just go with a paintbrush and a roller and go around. I think we're going to start with the ceiling first. Yeah, we're going to start with the ceiling. We think that that's the easiest thing to do. So without further ado, let's yeah. do this. So today we're going to show you how we messed up big time. So I came out here today all excited to have a big reveal taking off the painter's tape that we used around the window sills and stuff like that to protect the metal frame from getting paint on it. The mistake we made was letting the paint dry uh, before removing the painter's tape. When we took off the painter's tape it took the paint with it. So what we learned is that take off the painter's tape when the paint is still wet. Now we basically have to go back through, I have to sand these areas, wash it, prime it, and then apply two fresh coats of the ceiling paint that we thought we were finished with yesterday. So it's kind of a, a downer for sure. And if you have already let it dry, go through with an X-Acto knife and just make a little cut in the tape so that it just separates the painted wall from the tape a little bit better. It happens. Everyone makes mistakes. So we're just trying to show you what we did so that hopefully you don't have the same outcome we just did. Voila! How do you like the first coat of the wall color? It's like a tan brownish color. So we've done the first coat and we're going to go back now and do a second coat. 
So I think it looks really good and I'm really excited to see the finished product. With every coat of paint, it's starting to feel more and more like home. process of removing all the tape, the painter's tape. We started doing some of that as you can see. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when we take it off. It's looking really, really good in here and I can't believe how far we've come. And we're starting to make visible progress now, which is awesome. Oh, we have exciting news about the flooring. Stay tuned. Really exciting news. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this second layer of paint on. Um, I haven't showered today, as you can tell. And yeah, let's get it going. <laughs> 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 